Hello people, so I'm going to be discussing the law of gravitational attraction and I'm going to be focusing on the gravitational constant and how it was discovered. So as we all know, Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity and he also discovered that gravitational attraction between two objects is directly proportional um, to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the distance between them. But what was missing at the time was the gravitational constant, which was discovered by Henry Cavendish in 1798. Um, he constructed an apparatus which involved a torsion balance to measure it. And in his experiment, um, Cavendish suspended a wooden rod from a wire, and he attached um, two spheres to each end of the wooden rod, and each of them weighed about 730 grams. Um, he also located two larger spheres near the smaller spheres, and each one of the larger spheres was 158 kilograms. So as they attracted the smaller spheres, um, the wooden arm rotated, let me show you which one. Um, this wooden arm rotated, and as a result, um, the wire that was attached to it started twisting. And um, the wire stopped twisting at an angle where the twisting force of the wire balanced the combined gravitational force of attraction between the large and the small spheres. Um, Cavendish then measured the angle at which the wire stopped at and calculated the twisting force, which is also known as torque. Uh, of the wire and was then able to determine the force between the spheres. Um, Cavendish didn't directly calculate the constant at the time. Um, he calculated the Earth's density instead and it turned out to be um, 5.448 grams per centimeter cube. Um, however, his results were reformulated almost a century later to deduce that, that the constant is 6.674 times 10 to the power of negative 11 newtons times meter square over kg square.